Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, and like always, let's just jump right into it. Abigail! What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest, though. It tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them. They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Scat. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's the two thing that men like is food and women. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, I'm obliterating these fucking things. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Don't take me serious. Oh my god, these things are just... <laughs> See? <laughs> there are perks of being a farmer and a gunslinger. Look at this, baby. This is perfect. Go away, crows. Perfect. Mission complete. Finally. Now about that stew. Let's go have a stew. Oh, and we get some birdies. Bird up. Abigail! I want my stew. Where's my stew? John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't... Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, by the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <sighs> <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, my God. Wait! I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. <clears throat> well, come All on, right. man. Let's get going. Rabados! Dude, there's there's wolves on my property. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That John Marston's seen enough of me for a lifetime. John Marston's only interested so, in Ram Ranch. She and 
16 naked cowboys. <laughs> Close. How did you save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to be visiting on a mound. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there were really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of some fool. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just Jesus a lie. Jesus Christ. So before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where'd they take you? <sighs> Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. No, so, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. And we are off to back to our farm. Oh, she likes me. She likes me. She li I'm taken. Ma'am. <laughs> She's stuck. <laughs> She's stuck with him. That's. I feel bad. All right. Oh my god. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Uh huh. Uncle. Where's Uncle and Jack? I think we're gonna have to wait for them. I remember waiting for these guys just to just to get here. Man. Yeah, there he is. There they both are. They're they're running you're running late, guys. Should we do Uncle or Jack? 
Uncle or Jack? Let's try Uncle out. Let's do what... See what Uncle is all about. Jack smiled at me really creepy. Well, he was being really creepy. God damn it! I don't want to do cattle, man. Get up, old man. I I am up. Get up. There I'm up. Thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Come on. You ready? He's going so slow. Holy crap. Move. Move. I fucking hate this so much. Chill out, Uncle. Holy crap. What the hell? Guys, we still have to move. Come on. God damn it. Oh, shit. We have to protect these people. Go. No. Oh, oh, oh. No! Move! Pass! No! Oh my god, thank god! You freaking cows! We gotta stop these bad guys! Someone don't like me much! I think we're safe. Thank you. I thought we were done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Let's go. Uh, John. Let's go. Let's go get these cattle back. Mom. Move. We lost two? No, we lost three. We lost three cows. I don't care anymore. I really don't care. At least, I'm tired of cows. Uncle, chill. Chill, man. Chill. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. What a lazy cow. <laughs> I called Uncle a lazy cow. Alright. Hello, Jack. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Let's go, baby. We're gonna hunt ourselves some elk. Come on, 
on, let's go. Slow. Rufus. Oh, Rufus. Here, you can track. When he find something, you stay back, and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Don't you sure run over the it? dog, John Marston. I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. Why don't you just you learn about this. from the very best, which is me? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. You know, one time I hunted a bear up a tall tree. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you and Mom wanted me to read. We do. So long as you're not, well, hiding from the real world. Sorry, doggy. I see one. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we're gonna get elk. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. If you can. And stay down. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Elky. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. Whoa. How do you... I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo! That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Yeah, you're gonna get skinned, Jack. All right. You ready, boy? I'm just. <laughs> Why are you stopping? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you ready to take a shot, Jack? Remember. It's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at it. You say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Go. Go find him, Rufus. Go, Rufus. Go. I swear to God, you don't find that elk, I will eat you, doggy. I'm just kidding. I love, I love Rufus. Rufus. I'm sorry. You got him. That's nice it. job. Whoa. We're not going to kill all of them. So you really I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Hey, come on. All right, Jack. Just keep him looking that way. Hey, keep him looking that way. I'm just kidding. I love Jack. I'm just fucking around. Ugh. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Good, good job, buddy. You did a real good job. Let's go. Now pyaw, we're going! Let's go. S right. I'm gonna go Here sell this meat. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Howdy, Mister. And here we are. Enjoy the journey. Elk, elk. We got elk. Let me know what you need. Pretty soon they'll be introducing more comfortable trains so to entice the wealthy. All right. That's good. Come on, Jack. Yeah. We aren't going that way. We're going. We're taking a shortcut, buddy. Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That ain't fair. What can I say? Did half the work? Don't you watch your goddamn mouth? Daddy does all the work. Paul, that was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. 
We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Rufus is the best. Rufus is the best. Who the best Rufus? You're the best Rufus. You're the best Rufus. Really? Already, man? Co okay. Maybe I'll. All right. I'll help you out with this. You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Well, show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. Better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Wolves. Okay. We are already jumping in another mission. With Rufus. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? That's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Oh, that was a tree, buddy. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone you're anywhere. You're gonna land us both in the dirt. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Oh, those are some beautiful horses. Dude! Beaver! Ah, we got beaver! Oh, wolves. Wolves. Perfect. Was that it? Are we done? Oh. More wolves. Oh shit, we passed them. I was... Don't fucking eat my horse. Oh god, I almost just shot Rufus. Jack, I did all the work this time. You don't have to tell me what, what I... You don't tell me nothing. I did all the work. That was some good shooting, son. Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Hell no. You ain't gonna hunt shit. Hell no. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. <laughs> Come on, easy up now. Yeah, buddy. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Hell yeah. Good job, Jack. Oh, it's a bear.
John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a-hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Oh, shit. Come on, Rufus. We're going. Rufus, no dildallying around. Papa Bear is going to fight the big bear. Papa Bear always wins. Come on. This way? I'm going. I'm going. Papa Bear's coming, Jack. Papa Bear's coming. Oh, oh shit. Me. I'm hurt. Jack, stay down. You try to touch my son. Don't move. Keep your head down. You're going to die now, you son of a bitch. Come here. Come here. You fucking think you're tougher? Oh, god damn it. What the fuck? No! Dude, this thing is so tough. Holy shit. What the hell were you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. God damn it, Jack. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Come on. Now hold tight. Are you all right? Yeah. Holy That's shit, I almost just fell. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. Ah, Never holy shit, that. there's a lot of wolves. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Huh. <laughs> Wait, does that mean he's grounded? You're grounded, Jack. You're not getting out of your room for a long ass time. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Huh. I'm okay. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. He, you shouldn't have said that. Now he's gonna, like, the next day he's gonna want to hunt bears. You did a good job, Rufus. You did a real good job. All right, let's go talk to Uncle. Uncle. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. 
I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Dude. They are gnarly when it comes to fighting. Oh, am I following you? Finally, I'm following somebody. Okay, I'm coming, man. Chill. What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you were gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on, getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Get up. Here are the horsies, the horsies. I'm gonna get this Mustang. Oh, I got you, buddy. I got you. Got it. Oh, I'm going to take this Mustang. This looks like a cool horse. I like you. I like you a lot. Picasso. Oh, no, we should name this horse Picasso. Hey, shut up, uncle. Oh, I like that one. Pica this one looks like, uh, what does this horse remind me of? Uh, oh, ooh. What's that car called? What, uh, uh, a Mustang. Yeah! Yeah! This horse is called Mustang! Or we could call it Poopy Pants. Let's call it Poopy Pants. That's better. Oh my god. Just give me the horse. There we go. I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. Thank god. We got the horses. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. Alright. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. We got a hundred dollars? Oh, shit. Oh, let's go talk to Jack. Jackie, my boy. Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Uh, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? I ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but... I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know, they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration. One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. More horses. I hate fucking horses! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. What does that mean? There's still time for you to run. <sighs>
Oh, come on. No, put the fucking lasso down, man. This is not the time. Well, dude, get, stop it with the lasso, dude. Oh no. Got him. We're good. Go check on your family, boy. Oh my god, dude. This is not good. This is actually terrible what's gonna happen. Oh shit. The military's fucking here. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how <laughs> many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. Do we have chewing tobacco? Any chewing tobacco? Snake oil. No chewing tobacco. Fuck. No! Uncle! Fucking assholes, you're gonna die now. Dude, they're sending a fucking army after us. The army. Got him. Jesus Christ! Gotta get to Uncle! Uncle! Hang in there, Fuck, Uncle. dude! I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them and. <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get him out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! God damn it, dude. Whoa! We'll make a run for the board. Stay close, keep your eyes open. Up on the Anyways. I see him! You're behind something! Jack! No, they fucking shot my son! Son of a bitch! You ain't touching my family! Stay down! Nobody moves till I say so! Okay, oh, um, 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 um. Make a run for the board! Let's go! Move. Go! Alright, you're covered! Now go! Go! Now, quick! Don't you touch my family! 
Get the fuck out of here. Now, quick, run for it. I don't give a shit about the horse right now. You ain't touching my goddamn family. Come on, guys. Oh my god, Abigail. Are you okay? Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get! <laughs> Oh, God. Well, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Really gonna do this to me, game. Gonna fucking do this to me. You're gonna make me do this. Well, we're gonna fucking do this. Oh, fuck. Right in the fucking head, you little son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Dude. Oh, you're gonna fucking die, buddy. You're gonna fucking die. God damn it, dude. Really? Dude, I have infinite horsey speed! Oh shit! My horse is like on steroids! This is awesome! Pyaw! Pyaw! God damn it, dude. This fucking the socks, dude. Where the coyotes wail and the wind blows free. And when I die, don't bury me neath the western sky. Uh, 
God damn it, dude. Jack? What's up, dude? Oh, you look styling. You look fabulous. Oh, Abigail died? Fuck. Ah, uh, we got our bolt action rifle. We got high power pistol and God damn it. Wait, why do we have this horse? I don't want that horse. Well, guys. I just want to quickly say that, um... Oh my god, dude. It's so weird because I've played this game before! I already knew what happened! You just guys just got- you guys just got tricked! Oh shit! I knew that everybody died except for Jack. Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! I just pulled the biggest prank ever. Now we're gonna kill the son of the bitch, uh, Agent a, 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 Agent Ross. We're gonna rock out the poncho, dude. Listen, when it comes to John Marston, we rock out the poncho. Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. I don't give a shit if I couldn't stop the criminal. I'm Jack Marston. Excuse me, ma'am. I have a couple of questions for you. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. <sighs> yeah, your husband's gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. Just kidding, I'm gonna blow his goddamn butthole into oblivion with extra spicy peppers. Taco Bell. Now, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know. Alright, we're gonna go there. Excuse me, sir. I got a couple of questions for you. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits. Coyote. Elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river. Duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right over here.
Well, I'll go. I'll go tell him. <laughs> no! I almost just killed myself. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Hello, you son of a bitch. I got a couple of words. I wanna. I wanna tell you. I wanna. Excuse I wanna me. tell you something. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for starling you, sir. But I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. You see the gun I have in my holster? I ain't going nowhere, old man. You gave that to my father. Now I'm gonna give it back to you, you son of a bitch. One, two, three. Get your freaking ass obliterated, dude. Taco Bell, don't fuck, don't fuck with no Taco Bell. Never mind. I was. Well, we did it. We absolutely demolished that guy. Holy shit, we actually did it. Perfect. Well, we did it. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'm hitting... Oh, well, an hour and 16 minutes. I'm gonna have to edit it, so it's probably not gonna be that long for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.